What's up, guys? It's that guy with the pencil here, and we are back for another installment of Tier List Tuesdays. And here you can see we're going to be ranking the Mega Evolutions. And honestly, I'm so sad these things are gone. Like, this is out of all the new gimmick features they've been adding, like Z Moves, Dynamax, Gigantamax, all of them. Dynam G Dynamax is meh. And Mega Evolution was always my favorite. Like, it was always so cool to see Pokemon that either already had enough love or didn't get enough love just get a new form just to make them better just to make them way better sometimes to ludicrous degrees sometimes to not so ludicrous degrees so once again we're, this list is going to be a mix of things it's going to be a lot of my uh, objective opinion when it comes to why certain mods are in certain places and honestly let me just let me just let me just start off let me just let me just uh, start off strong yeah yeah you know you know you know look at him it's Goku. It, it, it's legendary Kakarot. Is that you? No, no. Bro. Mega Lucario. I think this was the first Mega Evolution I personally ever saw. And I liked it from the moment I saw it. Because it just looks so... Ooh, it's just so powerful. Like, what's great? Why, why I like Mega Lucario so much is the same reason why I like some Mega Evolutions way more than I like others. Because it feels like this isn't some tacked on thing. This is like a, it's almost like a primal reversion. Like primal reversion is also one of the coolest features I've ever seen. The reason why is because it seems to bring out like a more feral side to a Pokemon. So like Lucario is this refined martial arts master, but this Lucario looks like it was out there training in the mountains for 15 years and decided to come back and say, you know what? I'm going to sweep the entire meta. And then did, because it was really, really good. Because fighting steel with that high of a attack and special attack stack it was just wild and competitive. I love his design. It reminds me of Goku, obviously voiced by Sean Schemmel. Everything about Mega Lucario is great to me. It has to be in perfection. Moving on to another mod. You know, let's just put him... Now... You know, some people are going to get mad at me for this. But man, do I love Mega Charizard Y. And, and I think... I think the reason I love Mega Charizard Y so much, especially in comparison to Mega Charizard X, because not in perfection, but he's in great. Mega Charizard X is great. Once again, it comes back to that, like, this seems like Charizard just, re like, reverted. Like, evolution, in a lot of ways, when peace comes around, it makes things weaker. But, like, this evolution was literally made to bring out the more beastly, natural dragon side of Charizard. Even though this is the dragon. But, like, the sharper edges, the power, the large wings, the burning flame, the spikes... Everything about Mega Charizard Y is awesome. It's plain and simple. And it's shiny? Bro. It's shiny as wild. Like, that may just be my... Mm, except for one. Except for one. That may be my, like, favorite shiny hands down. Because it's just beautiful. And it's good competitively. Drought? Drought on Mega Charizard Y? This thing was wild. I loved using it. It was great. All around. I like its design. I love it shiny. I even... See, because it's weird, it's weird to talk about Mega Evolution lore. Because, like, admittedly, I don't know that much about it. But, I know I really... Another reason I really like Mega Lucario so much is because of, like, that little arc it had in the anime with Karina. And how her Mega... Her... Lucario went crazy whenever it Mega Evolved. Because it is such, a, like, a rush of primordial power that's surging through a Pokemon. It makes sense that it would lose control. And, a lot of the... I, I don't know much about Mega Evolution lore, but from the Pokédex entries I read, I know a lot of it's just painful for them. I'm just like, oh, yeah, he's got to bring out that true power somehow. Oh, um, I guess Star's Art X. Why is it not in perfection? It's, I don't know. It feels like, it feels like they just took Charizard Shiny and made it, made it blue. I know, I know that's kind of like, what, what, what do you mean? They just made, they just made spikier Charizard with Mega Charizard Y. Yeah, and I think I even enjoy using Mega Charizard X more than I enjoy using Mega Charizard Y. I don't know. Like, it's still cool, but something about its design just rubs me the wrong way. Like, it still seems so... Like, even despite the flames roaring out of its mouth and its tail flame being bigger than its regular state. Eh. See, maybe... 
See, it's just uh, like I'm I'm debating on putting between perfection and great just because I'm not necessarily sure why I have it in great. I'm gonna leave it in great for now. I'll come back to it. I'll probably come back to it. Uh, Mega Obama, so, uh it's a meh. It's kind of just like they give him steroids, and not in a good way. I don't know. <laughs> like Mega Obama, so just never did it for me. I don't even. I don't remember it being good. I think it, I think it I had its uses. I'm pretty sure, but there's nothing about Mega Bomb so that ever like grabbed me. It looks like it forgot to shave. Forgot to shave. It didn't get a haircut in three weeks and it's decided to just rock out. I guess that's cool. I mean, it's meh for a reason. Uh, but Absol though, it's okay. I. I really like the Dark Angel aesthetic. Uh, Mega Absol is pretty cool. Um, I like the way like it's truly emphasizing the whole. It's a warner of danger. It just hap it just happens to not be able to speak English. So whenever it shows up, tragedy strikes. But now it's like even more of a I'm an angel coming to help, even though I dwell in darkness. And that's really really cool. I like that aspect of Mega Absol, and I liked using it. I know it wasn't the best, but still, it was a fun thing to use. Uh, yeah. My Aerodactyl, you're just a seriously. Like, I don't, I don't, like, looking at Mega Evolutions, I really don't, actually, I kind of, yeah, I just saw one that made me just, hmm, I'm gonna stick with serious. I was about to put Why Do You Exist again, but, like, I can't say I definitively, truly dislike any of the Mega Evolutions. Like, there are none of these I'd be like, you'd, you'd be better if you didn't exist. Because to some degree, all these mods are made slightly better in some way, shape, or form by their Mega Evolution. But Aerodactyl, is it just a seriously? You threw some rocks on there, gave it a goatee, and decided, yeah, we're done. And you didn't even give it any new, like, decent moves. I'm, I'm pretty sure Aerob Aerodactyl still doesn't learn acrobatics. I don't know, Mega Aerodactyl's all just meh. No, oh, it, no, but it's not in meh. Why is it not in meh? Because uh, it's ugly, that's why. It's seriously, like, really? This, this, is, this is as far as you could go. At least Mega Obama so looks like it. It looks like it did more, but you literally just smacked some rocks on it and didn't do anything. Um, Speaking of another, seriously. Now, this is, now, no. Mega Aerodactyl was, I think, all right competitively. I don't remember using it that much. But this thing was busted. This thing was busted in every single way, shape, and form. I think it still it, it still was busted to a degree in um, Gen 7, even after they nerfed Parental Bond. But, this thing was hilarious to use. It was great. I remember so many times Fake Out, Power Up Punch, running through entire teams with Mega Kangaskhan. That's so good. The only thing that really holds it back for me is the design. Like... If, I, if, I, if I'm not being sarcastic, like, it's okay. But since I'm, since I'm, since I'm in that mood, man, Mega Kangaskhan, it's literally just the baby hopping out of the pouch. Nothing aesthetically changes about Mega Kangaskhan. It's just like, it decided to finally let the kid out to play. I don't... You know, do it for me. Like, that's really it. And another reason why, sincerely, is because as much as I love running through people with Mega Kangaskhan, a lot of people ran through me with Mega Kangaskhan. So I'm salty towards it. So yeah, there you go. Um... For a mon, what's a mon that's in okay? Every tier has one. Let's see, what's a mon that's in okay? Uh, Mega Steel is okay. It's okay for me. I, I, I like how it, like, truly gave into the whole, like, it's a floating metallic monster thing. Like, that's cool. I just don't get why, like, with all this floating metal, you think it'd be, like, steel psychic? Not just, still just remain ground steel? But, I, I guess. You couldn't add another typing to it, because why not, even though you still did with other Pokemon, but whatever, we aren't going to talk about that. Yeah, Mega Steelix, he's okay. Like, he, I, I, I've tried to, I tr remember trying to run him so many times, but he just never really fit anywhere. I like his design more than I like all these three's design. So, like, that's really the only reason why he's in okay. It's just... He's just all around, just like that middle tier Pokemon. Oh yeah. Speaking of seriously, yeah. Why? These two did not need to be a thing in any universe, in any time stream. These two did not need to be a thing. Don't know why they were a thing. I'd rather they just pop out of existence. Yeah, honestly, like these two can kind of just go. In fact, you know what? I was I wasn't gonna do it. I was not gonna do it, but I I gotta I gotta I gotta. Why? Nope. 
Why do you? Why do you exist? Like, why? Actually, why? And you know what? You two get to slide in there as well, because like I already said in the Legends video, all all four of y'all, you had no reason for existence, especially when you had Soul Dew, especially when you were already such a good Pokemon, and your designs especially are ugly, and it's not even that their designs are really that bad, it's just, they don't, they don't do anything, like, like, they're good Pokemon, of course, it's Mewtwo Mega Evolved, you're gonna be great Pokemon, but like, their designs are meh. I don't even really get how it makes sense in lore for them to have a Mega Evolution because that would imply that Mewtwo was around for way longer than I think he was supposed to be in canon. And then again, shoot, I don't know. They just It's fan service. That's the whole reason why these two exist. Um, but I still really like Mewtwo Y. I th and I just I like the Mewtwo's more so if, if we're gonna rank why do you exist they'd be at the top leaving these two in the back and uh and uh and uh since, since I added it Slowbro what'd they do to you bro they did not need to do this to you what even is Mega Slowbro I'm gonna leave it at that that's all that has to do with Mega Slowbro um I think Mega Bayonet is is he great? Is he okay? Is he great? Is he okay? Is he great? Is he, great? Is he okay? See, I've had such shifting opinions on Mega Bayonet because it used to be all the way up in perfection, then dropped down like great for me one time, and now I think it's in okay. Because it's cool that it, like unzipped. All that's really cool, and I like the gold sequins and all that stuff and the haunting atmosphere to it. But eh, it still doesn't it doesn't hit me in that way that like a lot of the upper mega evolutions do and that's re that's really it for mega bayonet like i feel so i'm so oddly indifferent to mega bayonet like i feel like i should have more an opinion on it but i don't like i don't even remember trying to use this thing remember i saw it i was just like yeah this is this doesn't do anything for me uh mega agron you're meh you're just bulky you're just like a big boy and i guess that's cool if you got filter and that was that was a good ability for you, but like, <laughs> I don't know. If you, his his mom always just looked like it wanted a hug, and it was no one was ever gonna give it to him because he was too big. <laughs> I I don't I do not understand Mega Agron. What why? I feel I feel bad for whoever designed you. I feel bad that you. <laughs> I kind of feel bad that you exist, but you aren't you aren't necessarily bad. So I'll I'll leave you in meh. Uh, Mega Alakazam is actually. Actually, pretty good. Great. Pretty great. I like I like the extension to it. Like, he was standing before, but now he's fully into the zen, meditating. He got the wispy beard. He's full, grown out the mustache into a beard combo. Gem blowing on his forehead. All five spoons. He's going to eat up them Vanellixes real quick with all them. So, yeah, I really like it. Like, and it was good. It was, it was literally just regular Alakazam, but they buffed his special attack and speed even more. Great. Um... Yes, like a Gengar's imperfection. I know a lot of people think it looks weird, especially with its little toes and hands. But I love it for that. It's because Becky Gengar is just a goon. Look at that smile. Like you, you, you know, he's definitely hopping in someone's dreams and eating them tonight. Because look at that. He's even got the third eye open. He ready. He ready. I almost wish they changed his typing to Ghost Psychic, but I understand why. Oh, and Shadow Attack Gengar was always just annoying, but I liked it. I think Mega Gengar is great. It's designed. It's so sharp. Once again, it really, it really gets into me with that like primal sort of power that's just leaking out of a Mega Evolution, and it really matches a lot of their descriptions. Where like Mega Evolution is such a painful thing for the Pokemon. Speaking of another Mon that's of imperfection, I know y'all gonna be shocked, but Mega Beedrill is great. I love Mega Beedrill. Mega Beedrill is the bomb. Look at him. He's so sharp. Once again, the primal energy. He's just. He's just reverted into like a more huntsman state and he was monstrous what was it 150 attack 150 speed and he had mega horn bro he was sweeping you if, if he if he got one sword stance up that was it your entire team was gone it was all off the map and it was great i loved it competitively i love his design and it's shiny was kind of ugly though i think it's shiny was green because i don't have a positive opinion of it shiny but other other than that mike Beedro, the bomb diggity um and for Rose. 
They just gave you hair and made you a dragon. I don't know why. I I was originally going to put you in okay, but now nah, you're a meh. I don't know why. And I don't... I, you just look weird. Like, they slapped a wig on you. On your head and on your tail. Like, bro, you're still ugly. I just, you're a hairless sheep. I, grow, growing some wool on your head doesn't make it any better. Ugly. <laughs> um... But to my shock, uh, Mega Altaria is the same case of, oh, they just made it fluffier. But I don't know, I kind of like it. The Dragon Fairy, was really it was really good. I remember using Mega Altaria in competitive. I think it was really good. Dragon Fairy is actually surprisingly really good typing all around. Its design is fluffy. I don't mind fluffy. I know it kind of contri- but it is, I like fluffy, but it doesn't matches the criteria of any of the mons that are up in great or perfection. It's just okay. Like, it wasn't the best competitive viable mon. It obviously wasn't the best dragon. And in comparison, it still wasn't the best dragon. It wasn't the best fairy type either. Um, It wasn't the best at anything. And it's not the best design Mega Evolution either. It's just okay. It's in that middle ground. Um, Speaking of... Uh, <sighs> Of all the Gen 5 mons you had to Mega Evolve, why was it Audino? You had 156 mons you could have picked to Mega Evolve, but you chose Audino. Where's the Scrafty love at? Where's the Crocodile love at? Come on now, seriously? And I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure he was, she was the only Gen 5 mon that got a Mega Evolution, and that saddens me. This is like... Gen 5 had so many good mods. Why did we get him like a Mega Volcarona? Or something like that. Something cool. I don't know. See, like, literally, this is, like, I said Mega Kangaskhan was the definition of seriously. Nah. Mega Audino is the definition of seriously. Like, th seriously. This is what you went with? Not only did you pick Audino, but you picked Audino and just made it this? Ugh. Disgusting. Um, I already kind of expressed my opinions on Blastoise. I think it's weird. It's meh. I know a lot of people like Mega Blast. Says, oh wow, that third cannon, the cannon's on his arms, looks so cool. Eh? It looks like Chunky Turtle. It's like, it's like, sure, it's at, it's at the top of meh. Like, it's in the same tier as, um, Agron for me. Where it's just like, they made it bigger, but that didn't always make it better. So yeah, that's really a meh. Um, same thing. I mean, Mega Venusaur's okay, just because I really like Venusaur. Um... They just made your flower bigger. They like raised it up a little bit and slapped a flower on your forehead. There wasn't, there wasn't really much done with Venusaur. And it, once again, it's just, it's okay. <laughs> like, there's not really much I can say about like any of these mons that are like lower down other than like, bro, your existence disgusts me. Seriously, this is all you could do. All y'all are meh. Yeah, y'all okay. Like, it's re it's really these ones I can, like, sit down and talk about for a minute. Um, like, Blaziken's great. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I remember. It's one of my, um... Out of out of the... It's my second favorite out of the Hoenn Mega Evolution trio. Just because it's so... It's, it's cool. It's, like, it's... It's a fighter that's evolved. Like, Blaziken, like Lucario, went up into the mountains, trained for a while, learned to harness its flames even better burning out, keeping them fl burning even longer than before. And they came back down from the mountains and said, I am going to sweep you all. And they did, because Mega Blaziken, <laughs> regular Blaziken was in Ubers already. But you know what? Slap a Mega on there. Keep speed boost and go wild. <laughs> that's that's basically what they said to Blaziken. Oh, yeah, you know that thing they call like the meta game? Snap it. Snap it over your knee. Do it. Do it. Do it right now. And that's basically what Mega Blaziken was. I like its design. It was great competitively. I loved using it. Protect Mega Blaziken. If you, if you were on in the Gen Six or even the Gen Seven meta, and you didn't see a, and you didn't uh, enough. Like maybe if you weren't on like consistently, if you were in that meta and you didn't see a Mega Blaziken at least once. I don't know what I don't know what server you were playing on, my guy, because Mega Blaziken was everywhere. Um, Camerupt is Camerupt, uh, not seriously. Camerupt's uh, he's okay. He can, it looks like he kind of went Super Saiyan. I like how he has the M on his forehead. You know, Team Magma. He has a volcano on his back. He's he's okay. He he, he just he just looks kind of like memeish. Like I I couldn't 
as much as as dangerous as that live volcano on its back probably is i could not take mega camera up seriously if i saw someone send it out to try and fight me like i'd show no fear i just throw a bucket of water on it and watch it harden and solid and die because it's just mega camera up like he's he's a he's so goofy he, he's so he loses speed that's one of my favorite things about him. sheer force is good like he he was an okay mon with sheer force and all that special attack stuff that was fine but like it just looks like a joke to me and to get its counterpart out of the way uh it's okay and i know you're maybe wondering what but sharpedo is definitely that whole primal thing you're talking about all that or that further boost in power and like to a degree it is like you know it has the yellow sparks it has more cuts on it Seems like it's been to war and came back from it. But I don't know. Am I the only one that won, like, a full shark? For his mega evolution? Like, the fact that it kind of just stays a shark head is, eh. I don't know. Do we have, like, full shark shark Pokemon? I'm trying to think. I don't think we really do. I feel like that would have been cool for its mega evolution. Like, it grew out the rest of its body forcefully, and then it became sharper, jagged, more rough around the edges. Right now, it's okay. I don't even, like, I remember trying to use Mega Camera Up and not succeeding, but I don't even remember trying to use Mega Sharpedo, because I think Mega Sharpedo was kind of just, meh, its ability was strong draw, I think, it was okay, just, just like the rest of it, it's okay, like, the design's aight, but it's not exactly what I wanted, I feel like they, Game Freak, missed out on massive opportunity when designing this mod, um, mm, it's time to do, 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 do. That's all I see whenever I see Gallade. <laughs> like, it's just Gallade, but like, with a, two dual discs on his arms and a cape. That, that's that's all I that's all I got from like, Gallade is a meh. I I think it was alright. I remember Wally using it. And I think it like took out one of my mons <laughs> during Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and then died. I don't know. I never, I never necessarily had interest in Mega Gallade because its design never necessarily called me, like a lot of other Mega Evolution designs did. So it's definitely a meh. Um, uh, I really, I actually, yeah, Mega Diancy is up to perfection. I really like, I like how far it was pushed. Like it really took the I'm a chandelier now and just pushed it all the way to the max. Like, like. It had chandelier mode, it looked at chandelier and said, no, I'm better, and then just turned all the way up. And this thing was good, I remember, because that, that 150, 150 attack, 150 special attack, and 110 speed, that was great. For a rock fairy too, and you slap a fairy typing on anything in today's meta, and it just gets a 10 times better. Mega Evolution was great, I actually super liked the design, like, I used to not like it, and I thought about it a bit more, I thought it was cool. Um... I also just like the lore behind, behind Diancy just a bit more now after thinking about it for a while. All around, yeah, it's, it's, it's perfection. Is it, it, does it represent that primal sort of air that a lot of these other perfection Mega Evolution mods have? Eh, not really. I think this is a matter of everything else about the design and everything else about the mod, which I remember using, works out well enough for me. Um... I can't put it in why do you exist, but I can put it in seriously, because, like, seriously, what was the plan? Like, you took one of Garchomp's best aspects, which was its speed, and made it lower, and you took one of Garchomp's best aspects, which was its design, and just made it awkward. Like, this is the definition of doing too much. Like, like y'all may think, I'm, I, I said it with Obama Snow, of just doing too much, and, like, Blastoise, but, like, nah, this is the definition, you just... There's, there's a limit between putting spikes on something to make it cooler, and then just drawing a whole bunch of pointy triangles to make it cooler, and then giving it scythe arms. Like, oh, it just doesn't do it for it. It looks like it lost a lot of its balance, too. I don't know. I, I feel like you didn't you didn't have to do it to Garchomp. Like, Garchomp didn't need it. Uh, another thing for seriously, like, really? Like, Celements was never really that intimidating for me in the first place. I'm not gonna lie to you. Y'all y'all saw the Pseudo Legends too tier list just last week. Y'all know Mega Salamence, Salamence never really did it for me in the first place. So you just made them look awkward, you make them tuck in them arms and flare out them legs. It just looks weird. 
I feel like that's supposed to look intimidating, but it doesn't. Not that this thing was good. Like, competitive-wise, that thing's all the way up in great, if not imperfection. Because I remember, I loved using Mega Salamence. D-Dance, Aerial 8, Double Edge. Bro, you're sweeping teams. But, eh. Like, now that it's gone, and now that I have time to just reflect back on it, it was always... It was just seriously, like, why'd you do that? It's another, it's another mod that just didn't need it. Like, I know, oh, Gen 3 remake hype, but, eh, didn't do it for me. Um, I know people are going to get mad. Why is Mega Metagross in meh? What's wrong with you? Um, he's, uh, once again, this is a case of, like, the base form did it better. Like, all three of these pseudos, the base form did it better. I don't know. I'm not necessarily intimidated by that one giant spike and uh, all the arms are coming towards me now. Like, the big X is kind of high, but, um, doesn't really do it for me. I don't know. He just looks, once again, he, fall, he falls into the category which, like, a lot of these Mega Evolutions fall into, where they just kind of look awkward. Like, they aren't amazing. They aren't failures. They're just... They're just... Why? Like, it just looks awkward. I, I don't... I feel uncomfortable looking at Mega Metagross. Like, I feel like either it's missing something, or you need to take something away, and Mega Metagross will get ten times better. Um, I just love it, because... It, I love it because it looks ugly. <laughs> I love it because it's ugly. That's all. That's the whole reason my glaze is looking great. And explosion, y'all, y'all knew. If 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 you were sending out a mega glaze and you didn't detonate it or double edge something with it, you were not using mega glaze properly. I'm sorry. I love it. It was it was just it was, it was. This one's awkward in all the right ways. Well, mega mega gross is awkward in all the wrong ways. Um, Gyarados looks like my dinner. <laughs> yeah, it's in that. But Gyarados looks like my dinner. Like I feel like I would throw this in a pan, chop it up real quick, and that'd be delicious. But what this this mod doesn't intimidate me. Like I think by giving it this, because it reminds me of the gigantic fish from Avatar that Aang was running from. That's all it reminds me of. I remember that. I remember even. That fish was not intimidating. It just looked delicious. Just like my Gyarados looks delicious. And uh, the dark dark water, I guess it makes sense. Gyarados being a dark type. But like, of all the mons you could have made Dragon, I feel, I, Dragon with the Mega Evolution, I feel like Gyarados would have been a good pick for it. Because always, I didn't necessarily view it as a dark type. I always viewed it as like this water kaiju that just you just had to avoid when you were traveling the seas because... It was just a dangerous beast that if you wandered into its territory, it would destroy your home or destroy your ship. But then you just give it this, like, shrimp, shrimp-ish shrimp appearance. I'm just like, oh, well, thanks for dinner. That's about it. Um, make, make a hair cross. There's so many meh mega evolutions. I feel bad. But, like, make a hair cross. Once again, it looks like he's trying too hard. Like, this boy definitely skipped out on leg day. I don't know what he did to his forearms, but they are jacked. And I know he's, I think he's... Rhinoceros beetle? But it just doesn't do it for me. He looks Mega Heracross is trying too hard. Uh but I do I did love using him. Skill like Mega Heracross was so much fun. Swords Dance, Pen Missile, Rock Blast, those were the good days. I don't know. I always remember it being so slow, especially when Talonflame was running around. If you if someone sent out a Talonflame, either you were sacking that Mega Heracross or you were swapping it out trying to preserve it for its life. Um Mega Mala was great. Took a Pokemon that was meh, put it all the way up in great, just because one, it was really, really good with huge power, giving it, I think, the highest natural attack stat in the game, because it gained a 210 base attack stat with huge power. Then you set up a sword stance, and this thing was basically running through teams. Its typing was very good, very steel. Its defenses were great. Maybe even made it for its speed because it got sucker punch. Everything was great about Mega Mall Isle. Um, even the two heads things break. Yeah, make them all while. Get up in perfection. Yeah, all around. Really, make them all while. I like how the heads I'll do a lot more of the talking. Like, they, they show a lot more personality. Once again, this is like the rough. This captures, once again, like, I'm going to put it above Mega Dynasty. Mega Mawile captures that rough edge that I want when I think of, like, a Mega Evolution or something primal and dangerous. So he's, that's what, that's what, as much as this, as much as Mega Evolution was about, like, the bond between Trainer and Pokemon, it was also about releasing this volatile energy and letting your Pokemon just realize its potential in 
a cool but admittedly very dangerous way by siphoning all this external energy from space that Rayquaza happened to make into a Pokemon. That was it's cool. Um, yeah, Mega Maw, great perfection, honestly. Uh, Mega Pidgeot's okay. Once again, it, it went from now. Nah, I always, I kind of always wanted to eat Mega Pidgeot. I kinda always just look like a fly, flying chicken. Uh, yeah, like it just got fatter. And bigger. It looks it looks more like an eagle now. Actually, I guess it's more refined. But I already have Braviar. I don't really need you, Mega Pidgeot. And while the No Guard was cool, you know, with Heat Wave and all that stuff like that, it had I think like 125 special attack. It was it was all right. Like I couldn't say there's anything wrong with Mega Pidgeot, but there's nothing that makes it great. There's a but it's just above meh because I want to eat Mega Gyarados more than I want to eat Mega Pidgeot. There's that. There's your wonderful 12 out of 10 objective reasoning. Only the finest here at that guy with the pencil. Um, Mega Houndoom, great. Uh, I know it wasn't the best competitively, especially with solar power draining its HP whenever you try to use the ability, but it's just so cool. Like, in my mind, I like to imagine that they, it scavenged those bones itself. Like, Absol, like, when people think of people believe that Absol is another Houndoom, like an actual harbing, harbinger of chaos and destruction. And I like Houndoom for that. Houndoom's great. I like his design. It, even, I remember, I've tried to use it so many times. I had some, I had fun using Houndoom, especially on other mods that had drought or sunny day, just because I, I like that you could just throw it out and would it, it would always, I always remember, Mega Houndoom, if it had the sun up, would always take at least one thing with it before it went. Even if it was resistant to it, it would just always take one thing with it. Oh, Mega Houndoom was just... It's just cool. Um, Yeah, why do you exist, Mega Manetric? Bolt. You, you, you took the nickname Bolt way too seriously, my guy. Because you're just a giant lightning bolt now. It's awkward. You look weird. Why is your hind leg so big? Ugh. Yeah. Manetric, you don't, you don't, you definitely do not do it for me. Um, yeah, that's really it. And I don't even remember, I remember, I didn't even like, I, to tell you how much I didn't like Mega Manetric, I never even tried using it. I saw it once in battle on the other side of the field, and I was like, nope, never even touching it. Not gonna touch it, ever. Um, I've been holding off on this one for a while. Mega Swampert, bro, perfection. Oh, he skipped leg day. Yeah, but he skipped leg day for all the right reasons. Look at my boy. He's chunky. He's swole. He ready. My boy is big. I I really like Mega Swampert. Also, also, he's great competitively. Like, Mega Swampert always was on the rain scene. Like, I, I, I love using weather gimmicks. I don't know. Maybe it's the Gen 5-er in me that just has lasted with me through the past. Jeez, going one, two, three going on four generations now but i love weather gimmicks swift swim mega swamper was always amazing i love running it alongside kabutops with either polytoad or pelipper it was always great mega swamper i also really like his design so cool to me and i once again i feel like it'll it maybe not like the same like this is something primordial that's coming out of a pokemon but like this is actually like a full-on evolution of swamper swamper did his push-ups and came out like this. I really like Mega Swampert. I'm Mega Gladivar. I'm putting it up in great, even though it has a kind of similar design design philosophy to where is he? Mega Gallade. But I, I like I like how it just became more and more regal. Like I named my Gardevoir Zelda. I always name my Gallades whenever I happen to stumble across using them Link. Just because I really like the aesthetic, I'm not I'm not sure if that was a planned thing, but if it was, that it worked out. Um, and Hyper Voice Pixelate Gardevoir. Do I have to say any more? That thing, that thing was a wall breaker. It just screamed holes through entire teams, and it was great. It was fantastic. Um, yeah, seriously. Like, I remember I used Mega Sceptile a lot in the Battle Maze on as a gimmick for triple battles with Discharge Mons. Just because of lightning rod. And I don't know. It never did anything for me. Like it's just a giant Christmas tree. It tried too hard. Just it just like 
Like, Gontram tried too hard, and I guess Salamence really tried too hard. I guess Abdel was just... He's the weird kid, dog. Like, look at him. He tried way too hard to be cool. He got his hair cut. He threw some bulbs on his back. He reminds me a lot of Wildvine for some reason from Ben 10. If you know who I'm talking about, you you probably cannot unsee it now. But he definitely reminds me of Wildvine. Um, Beckham Pinch is okay. I do not like Bugs, but he's really cool and he was really good. Um, so yeah, he'd probably be up higher if I was okay with Pinsir, but I'm not. Pinsir just makes me uncomfortable, so that's why he's in okay. Uh, Mega Metacham, I never got on the Mega Metacham wave, but I knew he was really good. I actually really like its monk design, but it, it doesn't reach like the peaks either, whether it be for the memes or be for the actual good or for or be the perfection. Never, I never really got that same feeling for Mega Metacham. Like if I was, whenever I was considering putting a Mega on the team, like Mega Metacham never even crossed my mind, even though pure power Mega Metacham was really, really strong. I don't know, it just never really hit me to do anything with it. I think it's just because I mean, as cool as, as cool as this design is. It just never pushed itself that far for me. Um, Mega Sableye. Mega Sableye. Mega Sableye. How do I feel about Mega Sableye? Oh, Mega Sableye is a meh. I don't know. It's just Sableye, but a little bit sharper with a bigger gem. It's cool, I guess. Um, it gave up Prankster for Magic Bounce. And I guess I guess that works out. Like you, you could. I remember you could always usually play some games with Mega Sableye. Like typically you'd set up and wait for them to switch something out because they think you weren't running a Mega Sableye if you're setting up with Calm Mind or something like that, or then, like, setting up anything, like, screens or something like that, but then you Mega Evolve, and suddenly whatever status they're about to use on you gets bounced right back at them. Mega Sableye was all about mind games, but it's really the design that's just like, eh, it's meh. I don't remember using that often. Um, bro. Mega Scizor? Mega Scizor is great. Look at him. Look at him. Like, this is how you Mega Evolve something. Like, it's just... Like, it's, 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 once again, it comes down to that difference. Like, when I see Mega Lucario, and when I see Mega, I can't, I can't in good, in good faith, I can't in good faith, uh, not put him up in perfection. But it, it comes down to that difference, once again. When you see Mega Scizor, no, when you see Mega Lucario, and you see Mega Charizard, I feel, I get that primordial feeling. Like, this is something that's always been locked inside the Pokemon that's just finally being released. But, like, with... Mega Swamper, I feel like this is just a proper evolution of Scizor. Like, he's truly a Bug Steel type. He is going to rend you to pieces. That's how cool and powerful Mega Scizor is. And also, it was great. Need I say more? Technician Mega Scizor? Great. Um, uh, Mega Lopunny was also great. I remember using it. Oh, I remember using this thing so much in Battle Maison. I named it Bugs Bunny and Lola Bunny. I remember this thing was just all around good like it took Lopunny like uh the clutch Pokemon and actually made it really really good to almost a ludicrous degree like that that is a proper use of a mega evolution it took him on that wasn't the greatest and shot it up to be really really good oh like as much as I love Mega Lucario like Mega Lopunny like Lucario didn't mean Mega and I tried to kind of need to make it wasn't that good like a lot of a lot of these mons, oh well, Mega Beedrill also. Mega Beedrill is also the idea of taking a Pokemon that needed help and giving it to it and properly working. So is them all a while. The same thing applies to Lopunny, and I feel like that's really really evident with Lopunny. Um, Mega Tyranitar. Y'all know I'm putting it up in perfection. Look at him, he's great. He's great. I love Mega Tyranitar, the beast, the primordial monster. He is nuclear Godzilla going full power. Look at him. Look at all the spikes coming off him. And I love how he has his arms open. Like, he's welcoming all challengers. Like, go ahead. Like, would you, would you run up on Mega Tyranitar? I wouldn't run up on Mega Tyranitar. And you'd think, you'd think I'd classify it in, like, the Garchomp or the Salamence or the Sceptile range, which is like, oh, it's doing too much? But once again, I feel like... It keeps that centralized design, and it comes back to, once again, that mix. It's honestly a mix of that, like, it's half primal and it's half a proper evolution. It's like you push Tyranitar further, beyond, and it just came out great. It's perfection. Oh, wow, that's a coincidence. Someone was left behind. I wonder, I wonder where 
that last Pokemon will go. It's not like it's an amazing Pokemon or anything. No, it could never be. Mega Replace is divine. Bro. The lore by Mega Rayquaza, the Delta episode, it's shiny. Bro, competitively, this thing was so busted, it got banned from the band tier. How do you do that? Like, Ubers was the place to go when you were too strong for OU. But Mega Rayquaza said, you know what? I don't like the ban list. Let me make a new one. Anything goes. That's the tier for Mega Rayquaza. Because it was just that powerful. And in lore, it makes perfect sense why it was that powerful. Because it had to combat the Primal Reversions. Like, this is the one mod I know all the lore about for its Mega Evolution. It's lore. Amazing. The fact that it just needs Dragon Ascent to Mega Evolve. It doesn't even need a Mega Stone. Meaning you could slap a Choice Band or a Life Orb on this mod with 185 attack stats and once again i think again 110 speed bro dragon dance mecha requaza you were taking lives and its design is fire do you see the energy coiling out of it like that like and it even makes sense why the energy is coiling out of it and it makes sense why it would affect other stones in the atmosphere when it blew through the meteorite the first time and left mega stones everywhere because it's just the raw energy coming out of mega requaza Bro, it's great. And it's shiny is honestly the cool. Like, as much as I love the Monkey Charizard's Y shiny, shiny black Rayquaza, especially in the Hoopa movie, bro, hands down, my good Rayquaza. It's just, it is the best. It is divine. Like, all these mods in perfection are really, 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 really good. All these mods in great are great. All these monsters don't care. Okay, man, seriously, why do you exist? But, oh, Mega Rayquaza, wild on every way. I don't know why Game Freak did it. Game Freak looked at its meta game and was just like, wow, you know, a lot of people were kind of blown away by Gen 5 and, like, how we introduced all these legends and stuff like that, how they're so busted and, like, stop the meta game and you had to fuse around dragons. You know what, let's, let's introduce the furry touch to balance that. But actually... Nah, let's make another busted dragon. Let's just let's just actually like actually break the meta game, because that's what Mega Rayquaza did, and I love it for it. So yeah, this is my this is my honest list tier list. Let me see. Actually, I may just rank perfection real quick, just like I ranked the bottom. Uh, nah, you you two are the quintessential. Why do you exist? You two are actually the original illusions. Um, actually, you know what, looking at it, yeah, yeah, I have to, I have to change that. I think he's up in perfection. I don't know why I was holding off on him. Some, something, some, still, something looking at Mega Charizard actually makes me feel a bit weird. So he does, definitely is at the bottom of perfection. But, yeah, honestly, I'd say in this order, it's actually pretty, already nicely and neatly ordered. So, yeah, this is that guy with the pencil, with my objective tier list of the Mega Evolutions from Pokemon. And I am currently writing off.